Counter-Strike 2 has been out for quite some time now, and I think Valve had enough of a grace period to fix up the game, because a lot of people have asked, what is wrong with Counter-Strike 2? The question has been asked, the problems have been listed. So today, I want to explore why it went wrong and what was different with the development of other Counter-Strike games, because I think there lies the answer. It's no secret that Counter-Strike 2 is incomplete. The recent big update was a big disappointment. The content that was added is lackluster. Great, we got some dangling sausage people and more stuff to buy, and not more stuff to play. And before any Counter-Strike fans get all up in arms, no, I'm no hater, look at my freaking content, I love that game. But to say it bluntly, CSGO was replaced with an inferior product. Yes, CS2 is still Counter-Strike. It looks amazing, and the differences in gameplay are something people will get used to. Yeah, Valve is fixing it up and it's getting better. And yeah, it's not the same, but I'm not going to complain like, oh, I can't play this anymore because it feels too different from CSGO. I've been part of this discussion far too many times. Counter-Strike Source felt very different from Counter-Strike 1.6 and CSGO felt very different from Counter-Strike Source. Honestly, everyone will get over it. It's just a matter of time. So, the very big issue with Counter-Strike 2 is content. But you've figured that out yourself by now. That's not the big answer that I promised in the beginning. So, CSGO was massive. Besides the classic game modes, Diffuse and Hostage Rescue, you had Wingman, War Games, Danger Zone, and a gigantic pile of custom content in the workshop. CS2 has a fraction of that. No Danger Zone, not even most of the standard maps, and a decade's worth of workshop content is suddenly incompatible. It's been a mess for a year. Even though more content is trickling in, the speed is incredibly slow and drip feeding is not enough. But what led to this situation that CS2 is still unfinished a year later? The answer is simple. Manpower. You've seen the memes by now and in case you haven't, here you go. A huge chunk of CS2 players is a little bit pissed at Valve for seemingly losing interest in Counter-Strike 2 and working on Deadlock instead. There is truth to that. Valve shifted resources over to Deadlock and left a lot of plans they had for CS2 on ice. I don't even need to spill any insider information. You already saw that there's more content ready to go they haven't released yet. It's in the trailer. And while these memes are funny and true, I can't be that mad at Valve because Deadlock is actually pretty good. See our video on that. Still, I'm kinda miffed about Counter-Strike. So how come this didn't happen with previous Counter-Strike games? Why didn't they release so incomplete? Well, one side of the story is the old Counter-Strike games didn't have a decade's worth of content. And then on the other hand, it's the aforementioned manpower. In the early days, when Valve was churning out games on a steady basis, they just acquired whole mod teams, and they had outside studios working on their projects. Every Counter-Strike game so far was in large parts developed by outsiders. And with CS2, they did it in-house. Let's start from the beginning. The original Counter-Strike was a mod acquired by Valve. Then they brought in outside help, Barking Dog Studios, to polish up the game. Then, they wanted to create add-on content for Counter-Strike with Counter-Strike Condition Zero. For that, Valve turned to Rogue Entertainment, Gearbox, Ritual Entertainment and Turtle Rock Studios. And later, Counter-Strike Source was in large parts developed by Turtle Rock Studios, the guys who accidentally invented Left 4 Dead while testing bots in Counter-Strike Condition Zero. Then, further down the timeline for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Valve brought in Hidden Path Entertainment. And while Valve eventually took over the support for CSGO entirely, and CSGO changed a lot over the course of a decade under the development of Valve, it is clear that a lot was contributed by outside developers. Valve did the foundational work, gave direction and fine-tuned, but huge chunks of the legwork like creating assets, the maps, textures, sounds, it was done by other studios. And this extra manpower that was there for every other Counter-Strike game is what was missing in the development of Counter-Strike 2. An outside studio could have worked on all the rest. Valve has more stuff ready to go, but also a lot of stuff left unfinished. 
with outside help by a different studio, this could have looked very differently. And that's the reason why Counter-Strike 2 as of today is still very much unfinished and still an inferior product to Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So yeah, there's a huge, huge pile of cut content. And the way it's been going, I'm not entirely certain we're ever going to get everything back. At least, maybe not from Valve. But there's still the community and we got workshop integration, so crossing my fingers that uh, the community will provide. In case you are interested in cut content of Counter-Strike, boy, do I have a playlist for you, because uh, we have a bunch of videos on cut content of Counter-Strike. From the M60 machine gun, to rocket launchers and gas grenades, to mundane stuff. Like tanks. Yes, tanks. So uh, check that playlist linked in the end card. Oh, and uh, those names you see scrolling by right now? Those are our supporters on Patreon. These fine folks got to see this video well before anyone else. A heartfelt thank you for your support. So, see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice day, and as always, goodbye and guten tag.